Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So, as you would have probably guessed from the introduction of this clip, what you do when things get tough? I study. Now, I haven't really spoke too much on my channel about what I actually study. So, for example, lots of people know exactly what they want to do right from an early age. And that is something what I wanted to do. And I wanted to really have it set in stone what I wanted to do. And I did. Um, and unfortunately, I had to really, really sculpt my sort of learning uh, journey around, unfortunately, health problems. Um, what I was forced to actually do, unfortunately, a normal college environment wasn't wasn't good for me. I really, really struggled, uh, particularly in my uh, last year at school, actually, in relation to my hearing problems. I um, had a lot of sickness, had a lot of balance problems, had a lot of vertigo uh, and really, really took a uh, what should be an amazing time of my life. A lot of it was taken away from me. Um, and yeah, really, really isolating. But does that stop somebody or would that stop somebody from pursuing what they wanted to do in their career? Absolutely not. So what I reached out to do was distant learning. Um, and that gives you a flexible approach. It allows you to be able to train and learn when you can. And in many instances, you can actually still do all your training and you can still do everything what you want to do and you can do all your learning. But then if you have to take an exam or it could be written assignments, um, how they would measure your success or how you would get your qualification at the end or your course or your, or your training certificate, whatever you would do. Um, or you would take exams. So for me, this is exactly a lot of what I've been able to do with my education. Uh, I've really always loved education. I always have a, a, a passion for development and moving forward and learning new things. Um, but for me, business, sort of accountancy, finance, economics, that type of thing has always been me. And I've really, really loved that. Um, I also really like politics too, but dare I say that online. Um, so for me, that's what I, what, I, what I do. I do a lot of courses around that. Um, now, 2020 hasn't started off very, very good at all. As you may know from my channel, uh, I lost my furry Alaska Malibots, my furry best friend, as I refer to him as, or my puppy dog. He was 12, and it's really, really difficult. Um, and for a while, I would look at my study uh, my study books, because I, I do quite a few different courses. Um, but I don't know about how, because I'm a, a student member of different bodies and things, I don't know... Uh, that's why I'm not I'm staying away from the name of those courses and who I study with um, so please forgive me for that but because we are online I, I don't know if I can or not so I'm certainly not for the moment but I do hope you understand um, but 2020 has been awful and from and for a while and because it's caused me and I found it so so difficult to get the job of my aspirations of what I want to do in my in my life around what I'm studying I found it very very difficult and of course, I've had really, really, really good jobs and I've really loved working with the public. And I love working in a bank, um, which is really, really great. But I've always wanted to do what I've aspired to do, which is working in accountancy and finance. And, and the end goal is to be a chartered accountant. Um, and I'm getting there. You know, I'm getting there. But it's been tough. Very often I've looked at my studying materials and things and I thought to myself, the stress this has caused me and the and the worry and the upset and and it's really it's been times where I've, I've not had good health a lot of times growing up but it's been times where it's just near enough pushed me too far and I've been really really unwell with vertigo and anybody who knows who suffers vertigo um or many hours um will know that if you've got something stressful going on it will really push you to somewhere where you've got that sickness that dizziness you've got that balance problems and it's done that a couple of times to me um i remember after one exam um and i'll be very honest i didn't get the score i wanted these things life is not easy and i am a true believer you have to work for you have to work for these things in life and it's not easy at times but why should it be um all these good things that's what hard work is all about to work at something difficult and reap the rewards afterwards which is just incredible um but life is certainly not easy and i always get annoyed when people think that life should be easy because why why um it's an incredible world we live in there's so many opportunities out there but we have to work hard for them and we can all do it we, we can all do it um but yeah absolutely going back to what i was saying is really difficult and very often i've looked at my study and i thought to myself 
And 2020 has been like that. I've looked at them and I thought to myself, no, I haven't been able to put myself there. And with losing Sabre, my Alaskan mama, which has been really, really difficult, and looking after my grandmother, my nan in the background with Alzheimer's, who is absolutely still with us, but in a way not as my nan, as my nan. Um, so heartbreaking, all the time heartbreaking, and honestly, if I, that old saying, if I could have a pound for how many tears I've cried, <laughs> and that was a, and I don't know why even, like, I chuckled there, because if I literally could have a pound for every time that I have literally been broken around that and looking after my nan, I would be a billion, probably a trillionaire. Um, so yeah, when things get tough, what do I do? It's took me a long time to be able to get back to this because it's been really, really tough. Um, but what do I do? I open my study books and I put my head into my studying. That's what I've been doing this morning. It's Saturday morning and I've been having a really bad time with the loss of my Alaska Malamog. I look here because I've got a huge picture of him um, here and um, in front of me. Um, and that's what I do. And we all have those things, don't we? What we do when we when we get stressed or when things get a bit too much, what do we do? I know a lot of people I've read online as well read. Um, but I love learning. I love developing things, um, my career and my knowledge. So that's what I do. I study and I throw myself into it. And you know the power of it? I find it takes you away. It takes you out of those worries, those stresses. Um, and it's just an, in, an incredible sort of feeling almost that I want to go on. I want to look at the next uh, subject matter. I want to go on to the next line or the next paragraph or the next chapter. Um, or if I'm online and I'm doing an assessment, I didn't quite get the score. I wanted to keep going with it and going with it. And then I turn around and realise three or four hours has gone by. Um, I'm not feeling so bad. I'm not feeling so stressed, so worried. And at the end, I've improved my CV, I've improved my career, and I've improved my education. Um, so there, love it. Um, that's a little bit about me there. So absolutely, what do you do when things get tough? I study, um, and I really recommend it. And do you know, nowadays, distant learning. Yes, I will be honest. I'm not going to lie. It is expensive. For what I've done, it is expensive, and I've been so so fortunate to have the support of my amazing, amazing, amazing gift from God parents and absolutely beautiful people and they've so so helped me with that but you know you can find you can find alternatives I mean for example monthly payments those type of things there are I would say from when I first started it's definitely getting cheaper um, and even at a local college if you if you are interested in learning you have to put yourself out there, even evening schools and things like that, or courses, or and there's so many opportunities. Like this saying, I think I've read it somewhere, the first step to improving things, or if you're wanting to take your mind off of things, or if you're wanting to improve yourself, your career, your skills, the first step is actually doing the research for it. And you know, that is so, so incredible. And it's amazing. And you know, when you start something and you finish it, it's such an amazing feeling. Um, as I say, that's what I've been doing this morning. And I and I had to do a written assignment. And I, I thought to myself, I kept looking at it, I'm never ever going to be able to do this. Then you've written it and you read it back and you think to yourself, wow, have I done that? And that's such a special feeling. It really, really is. Um, so yeah, that's how one of my things, which how I deal with things. So my channel is all about the good and bad on the bumpy road of life. Lots good and of course 2020 at the moment has been lots bad. Um, sometimes can I always pick up the book and study or computer, laptop, tablet? No. Sometimes I felt like throwing it out the window. I really have, I'll be honest. Um, because life has been really difficult to me recently. Uh, through one thing or another, which some's not on my channel. We all have those things, don't we, in the background just in private. But yeah, it has been really, really difficult. And um, especially when you've put so much hard work into something and you don't see the reward. That can be difficult too. It really, really can. Um, but yeah, that's it. So this clip was all about what you do when things get difficult. I study and just getting that on my channel as well. And it's just to give that notion out there to people. If you are watching this and you come across and, and you're thinking study. Yeah, absolutely. What do you do when things get tough? Absolutely. It's so, so important to break away from those things which is going on and whether or not you could have God bless you if you are going through that, but you've lost somebody, if you've lost someone dear to you, or if you're struggling with problems yourself, if you're struggling with health yourself, or it could be stress, worry, if that is something, just a simple thing of reading, taking yourself out of your normal situation, picking up a paper, picking up a magazine, or if you're wanting to improve yourself as well, studying, doing a distant learning course, contacting your local college or your local university centre, 
Improving yourself can be a fantastic skill in turning things around. And actually, in a way, even leaving homage, um, you're, you're giving homage to somebody if you've lost them. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm, I'm partaking in all courses. That's for my puppy dog, Sabre. It means the world to me. I was, I, I was a family member. Um, I'm going through this with my grandmother at the moment with Alzheimer's. When things get tough in my studying, I look at her and she pushes me through. And I'd like to think that she was so, so proud of me and that I'm doing it in awe of her and for her. And for me, of course, but to show her. So, yeah, what do I do when things get tough? I study. wonder what you do. Thanks very much for watching my clip today. Um, I've really, really enjoyed this one. Studying in education and learning is a huge part of my life, and I really am very, very passionate about it. Um, for anybody who questions it or laughs upon it or looks down upon it, why would you? We learn new things every single day. Small, big, whatever. We learn something every day, whatever age we are. Um, and of course, it's never too old to start learning. I know I'm still very young, but of course, if people do question that, why? Why on earth? Would you do that? Why would you cut yourself short from learning new skills and developing yourself further? OK, thank you very, very much for watching my clip today. As I say, it's meant the world. And if you are watching, um, I really, really hope you have, been, have enjoyed my clip. So until next time, we will see you then. Thanks very much and bye bye.